And welcome back to AgriTalk Online here at the Farm Progress Show. We are talking with Barry Nelson from John Deere. And one of the things we hear more and more from whatever segment of agriculture we're talking, you know, whether it's seed or or fertilizers or, or in, you know, whatever the inputs we're talking about, I think more management, more fine-tuning, more efficiency, getting every bit of production we can out of every part of the farming operation, and that includes the equipment. I know the equipment companies are really focusing in on this, and Barry, certainly at John Deere, you're looking at every way that your equipment can help maximize that uh, yield potential out there for farmers. All right, you know, we're actually celebrating our 175th anniversary this year, and from day one, uh, we have been manufacturing equipment. We've been optimizing that equipment with whatever technology is available, but now it's like it's gone into light speed with some of the changes in technology uh, with the iPad, with the smartphones. Now farmers are going to be able to take these portable devices and so if you're managing a fleet of tractors or a fleet of equipment, now on your smartphone, you can do some management in your pickup truck. Uh, with an iPad, same thing. You have, you have this portable management tool. Uh, your home computers, you'll be able to manage uh, everything going on with your equipment. We have a new product called Remote Display Access. What this allows you, with your permission, uh, to, to tie into the dealership that you bought your tractor from, so that if you have a problem, the dealer can actually remotely view what's going on diagnostically on your tractor. So before he sends the service truck, he's going to have an idea what is the issue, and, and instead of wasting your time, he's making sure he has the right solution before he goes out there to take care of you. And then overall communications between the combines and the tractors and the green carts, this is new technology that's just going to make uh, unloading on the go a lot easier because the machines will sync up actually a combine driver in the future through machine sync technology will be able to control the tractor and the grain cart speed up slow down make turns whatever uh, make sure you're getting every last uh, kernel of grain into the grain tank or the truck uh, uh, again gaining even more efficiency in everything you do at harvest time we saw a presentation here at the Farm Burger Show uh, about planters, and we were looking at a John Deere planter and talking about making sure that seed is put in an optimal seed bed and talking about, you know, if you're going through a field and you hit hard spots, soft spots, but what the goal is to make sure each seed is planted in optimal conditions and the technology right down to every kernel in that making sure coming out of that planter gets the best chance for uh, a good success that year. It's amazing how much, how far down we fine tune things. Absolutely. In fact, we have what we call section control. So uh, we've got variable seeding going on as you go through the field that is that is pre-programmed into the, into the plant, the tractor and the planter. Uh, so we're a lot more efficient. We're not at when you come to the end of the row, you're not dumping excess seed there. So again, and seed's getting a little expensive these days, but you know, very well worth it. But you need to make sure uh, you're planting seed exactly where you want it and at the right population. In fact, if uh, we invite everybody to come to our uh, display tent, we have an agronomist, Sue Gray, in an air-conditioned environment. Uh, uh, and she is putting on a special program, taking a look at the year of a farmer agronomically and talking about some of the new technology that John Deere offers to, to uh, improve your overall pro productivity and then overall to improve your profitability of your farm operation. Wanted to ask you, um, I've, I've had people asking me this question, what do you think the impact of the drought this year will be on those in the equipment business? What are you seeing and hearing? Well, we're, we're keeping a real eye on it. Our position right now, the, uh, the, uh, the uh, gross farm revenues are still pretty positive. Of course, we're working off of last year's results. There could be some adjustments on that, but our, but our uh, orders are still strong. Uh, the general farm economy is str still strong. And because John Deere is a global company, you know, when commodity prices go up, there are some pockets, some customers that are going to do quite well. And so we, we still, and, and it's in our third quarter financial report, we're still looking pretty optimistically for the future for equipment sales. And we know there are a lot of factors. Some yields a little better than others. Uh, crop insurance is a, a big part of things. And just the uh, emphasis is going to be on next year's crop. Absolutely. Now, of course, if we have a drought again next year, it could, uh, you know, there's uh, some serious impact there. One of the things that John Deere has done recently, we actually bought 
uh, a company that specializes in water since we're talking about that and so we have a division called John Deere Water now so we're going to be looking at new technologies actually to bring to the Midwest to also ease some of the moisture problems or make sure we're getting water to the right place at the right time too. All right, Barry, so stop by the John Deere exhibit here at the Farm Progress Show and enjoy some air conditioning too, right? Yes, thank you, Mike. Barry Nelson with John Deere. All right, we'll take a break, come back, talk with some folks from Syngenta. Stay with us. This is AgriTalk Online. <music> 